Hey everybody, Eric here from Around Two of Videos, and today we're going to show you how to make a clone video with Movie Edit Pro version 15. Now this is the setup that I used just now to make that clone video. You see my tripod on the left and two bricks on the ground on the lower right. The, the bricks are my markers. Those help me know where to stand in the video so I don't cross over uh, while I'm doing the clone effect. Now the biggest tip I can tell you is to get a tripod to do this. The effect will look seamless if you keep your camera in the same position all the way through the filming. Now if even when you touch your camera, see I'm just barely moving now and it's kind of moving around. Even when you touch your camera to hit record and stop, you move it a little bit. So here's, a, here's another tip. Hit the record button, film your shots, and don't stop until you record it all. See, you can go back later and split your video up into separate parts. But if you move that camera for that second shot and it's just a little bit out, people are gonna see it. So let's uh, put the camera on the tripod and I'll give you a couple more tips before we go inside. Okay, we've got our camera set up on our tripod. We've got our markers here for both sides of the screen where we want to do the cloning. And here's another couple of quick tips for you to make your clone video look just right. Your background. Your background should not move, if at all possible. If you have any movement going on behind you, when you put those two videos together, where they merge, if you've got some movement, it's going to show up and it's not going to make for a really good clone video. Okay? Now the second tip is lighting. Now I'm standing outside right now so the lighting's not going to be that much of a problem but here's what happens. Right now I'm reflecting light off myself towards the camera. I'm also creating a subtle shadow behind me. When I stand over here I do the same thing but it's from a different angle. I'm reflecting light from a different angle. And that makes a difference and sometimes will show up in your clone videos where one side might be light, lighter and one side might be darker. So you always need to take into consideration your lighting. You might have to tweak the brightness or contrast on one or both videos to make them blend just right for that perfect clone effect. So just remember that and keep it in mind when you do your clone. Okay, well that's enough of it out here, out here at the setup. Let's go inside, jump on the computer, and show you how to do it on Movie Edit Pro. All right, we've got Movie Edit Pro version 15 plus open in the timeline mode, and we've got our raw video clip on track one. And just a quick reminder here, this cloning tutorial is for versions 15 and above only for Movie Edit Pro software. If you own versions 14 and below, I've already made a clone tutorial for that software version, and it will be a video response to this one. Also, if you want to know where you can get the Magic Movie Edit Pro software, how much it costs, do they have any other fantastic packages that they can put on this, or any specials going on, look in the video notes on the sidebar, and I'll have a link there that'll take you directly to the Magic website and show you exactly the software I'm using to make this video. Alright, so we got Movie Edit Pro open in the timeline mode. We got a raw video on track one. We're going to start the cloning effect. And let's preview it. There I come in on the left. And I did this all in one take. Remember, don't touch the camera while you're doing the cloning effect because if you move it, uh, it'll when you merge the videos, you'll have that offset that you can't correct for. So there's the video in one take. On the left, I'll walk around. I go to the right side. And I do my little spill on the right side, and I walk off. Now, we need to find out where the halfway point is so we can split this video into two different video clips for the cloning effect. All right, I walk off on the left side, and that's a good spot right there where nobody's in the video clip. Now, to split this video, there's two different ways to do it. You can hit the T key on your keyboard, or you can use this little icon right here that looks like a razor blade. See, I just clicked on it. Wherever you put the start marker, right there on the highlighted video, and hit the razor blade or the T key, it will split that video right there. Both work, they do the same function. Now, we got the video split apart. We can manipulate each one on its own. Let's preview it again. This, the first video clip will be the left side. The second video clip will be the right side. Now, we're going to take the second video clip, which would be the right side, and put it underneath the first video clip. 
and this will be a layering effect that we're going to do to create the clone effect. We're actually going to layer this video over top the video on track one on the right to give us that cloning effect. Now first we have to crop that video so make sure your video on track three is highlighted go to the tabs up here at the top click the effect tab under the effects tab we want to look at the movement effects folder under it we want to go to section and zoom now you see this little window pops up when you click on that and that's your uh, all your information about the video that you're editing right now you see it's at 720 by 480 resolution also you can do your uh, cropping here under keep proportions this is a key here something you need to know there's a little down arrow click that a pop-up menu appears select free proportions and we want to split this video in half we want it to be only on the right side just the right side showing up here again two different ways to do it the difference between versions 15 of Movie Me Edit Pro and versions 14 and below in version 15 you have real-time editing from the preview window you see the little dotted line around your preview window two different ways to crop it here grab the left handle move it to the left until you think it's about halfway and let it go now you see I just kinda guessed at it just looking at the video but here's the neat thing you can do it this way now remember the video was 720 wide by 480 high what's half of 720? 360 and just type it in and there you go 360 by 480 now the video when you when you crop it for some reason the size and positioning uh, automatically centers it I don't know why movie edit pro does that uh, I haven't figured out how to defeat the auto center uh, since this video we wanted it to start at uh, the right side of the screen half of 720 would be 360 input that there and it's on the right side now if that video we cropped were on the left side that number would be zero now just think of it like this look over here if it's 720 wide by 480 high it's like reading a book the left side would be zero halfway would be 360 the right side would be 720 now if your camera shot a resolution say 640 by 480 same difference left side would be zero halfway would be 320 right side would be 640 okay but anyway we've got our right side set up we've cropped it and now we've uh, adjusted it the position of it on the screen so that it's the right half of the video let's preview it and see how it looks Here from around to a video, today we are going to show you how to make a clone video. now you see it looked like it came out almost perfect but there's just a little bit of distortion where the videos merge now under the effects tab and size and position the uh, tab that you still have open you have to tweak this sometimes that number might be 358 or 355 to tweak it just right to make that video look perfect now I don't know why it doesn't do it all the time correctly sometimes I can cut the video in half they merge perfectly sometimes they take a little tweaking but let's take a look at that now and see what that looks like not bad not a hundred percent but you see the gist of it I'm giving you the basic tools on how to make your clone video and you run with it you get comfortable with it you find out how to work all the little ins and outs of it and then you make your clone videos how you want to and you can add more than one clone if you want it depends on how many times you want to split the video up I'm just doing one clone for right now so you see we've got the video on track one which would be the whole video the video on track two which would be the right half of the video overlaid on track one to give you the cloning effect just like that okay now remember how I talked about lighting would be important in your videos now since I was outside that wasn't really a big factor as I had the sunlight as my lighting and it was all around me and uh, pretty much equal but when you're in a home or in a building you know your lighting's not always equal you know you might have a lamp in the corner or a ceiling light or a lamp down the hallway or another room 
that gives you unequal lighting and when you change positions in front of the camera even though you haven't moved the camera the lighting's just a little bit off I'll show you how to fix that now even though we don't need to do it in this video we're gonna do it just for kicks and giggles here uh, under video effects click the brightness and contrast and right here is how you can tweak the brightness you see right now I'm tweaking it now I didn't really need to for this video but you get the gist of it if you need to tweak it just a little bit there you go that's how you do it now if I didn't need to that little uh, symbol right there that's the reset button for that particular menu okay there you go there's your uh, clone tutorial in a nutshell I give you the basic idea you run with it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, please always remember to rate comment and subscribe to support my channel here on YouTube you can also follow me on Twitter and I'm gonna leave my Twitter name and link in the sidebar uh, I, on Twitter I give you updates on what I'm doing uh, what's the latest news uh, sometimes I answer Twitter's there and uh, also when my next contest will be but anyway hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always thanks and we'll see you later bye bye we are going to pop you up